Hey YouTube, and thanks for watching Junkworks Garage. I was doing a little inside project here, and I have this knob here that the screw that's in it a little bit too long. And I went ahead and found these and put it in here and cut it. But now I've got it. I, well, actually, I'll take it and make it a little bit shorter anyway. I do think I need to make it shorter. But a lot of people know that the wire strippers, you know, strip wire, crimp connections, um, do all kinds of different things that I probably don't even know everything about them. And even these ones here, these are our Harbor Freight ones. I don't know if my other ones are in here. I have some inside that I like a little better for actual more wiring, but I really do like stripping with these. These are pretty good strippers, and I have a pair of Klein ones that are similar to this type <clears throat> that actually strip wires better. I've never found that any of these, even this good old pair here, aren't that great at stripping wires that the wire strippers in the handle. I don't know why that is, but I've always had problems with them. Regardless, something that some people may or may not know is that they actually have a little bolt cutter here. Because you end up with a lot of screws when you're doing electrical, especially in outlets and things like that, where you lose one, so you buy a bunch of like 10, 1032 or whatever screws. Uh, I believe this one is actually a 1024. And you screw that in there. You got to make sure it lines up in the back here. That, like I said, I already cut this one, so it's a little bit stiff. That's one thing. They don't cut super cleanly. But you line that up. Get that up in there. I'm just going to take off a little bit more because I don't think I need a lot. But these are kind of bolt cutters. They will actually do a pretty decent job of cutting your screws down. Might need to clean that up before it will actually go into here a little bit. But that will cut that down to size. These ones actually also have a couple of these as well. Um, this one... Is an 832. That appears to be what this one is. I have never tried these on this pair, so we'll see if these Harbor Freight ones can do it as well. And cut it just fine. Yet again, they, they don't do the best job, but if you need, don't have bolt cutters or whatever and you need to cut down a smaller screw to a smaller size, these work pretty okay. Clean them up. You might actually find a nut. I've done this before. If you run a nut on there and then as you pull the nut off, um, it kind of cleans up your threads a little better for you. But a little thing that a lot of people don't know about, and I didn't know about until I was a little bit older and saw my dad doing it, um, is that they do have, this one has several different sizes. This one only has a couple different sizes. Something I don't know, you may be able to put like the, use a bigger one and kind of get it in there where you want it. I don't know if it'll yet again do a great job. Nope, that's not going to want to cut that one. So that wanted to move around in there too much. So you really do need the, the actual size. If you don't have what size you're looking for on here, I wouldn't try a bigger one or a bigger hole. Anyhow. There you go. Now you know. Hopefully got somebody got something out of this. Now get out there and get your junk working. Thanks for watching Junk Works Garage. I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and master of none. You all have a good one.